what will happen to the chain of the order in the next five years. In different sectors, the change will be different. Not in domains of uh, security, military, uh, economy, trade, finance, and uh, the uh, uh, culture, all the field, and uh, will move in the same direction. No. Different sectors and the will move in different, very possibly, different sectors will witness different change. Because at this moment, I cannot see any country to provide uni global leadership. U.S. doesn't want to do it. China doesn't have that capability to do it. I can't say any country has the capability to do it by itself. Second, I cannot see any two or three major powers want to take a joint effort provide a collective leadership. And as Jack Ma, maybe someone you heard that, he said that new technology will bring the third world war to the human being. Nuclear weapon can guarantee the global general peace for a cold war, and it will play the function to continue to guarantee the, guarantee the general peace of the world. That means nuclear weapon can prevent the world, world War III and the United States. Not only the U.S., Trump administration has a, has a, gave a huge increase of mid party for the uh, 2019. And China have a keep on the improve its military capability for several years. So, for my understanding, the military competition in the next five years will be illustrated by the modernization of uh, military, uh, military equipment. And uh, unfortunately, this kind of uh, mil military modernization will cause uh, some military or security tension among the major powers. Like this morning and yesterday, people talking about South China Sea. And my understanding, the competition between China, I mean it's a military competition between China and the US over the China Sea is inevitable. And that will continue, maybe become the worst. But I also make a brief prediction, no matter what kind of confrontation between them, and none of them dare go to war. That means uh, I don't think China and the U.S. will fall into war in the South China Sea in the next five years. Even Trump win the second election. In terms of the economy, my understanding, the laborist order and uh, can survive. That means uh, free trade norms can survive. Even there's a trade war. Even there's the increase of tension between the trade relationship and, uh, of China and the U.S. But in terms of uh, the, the, the finance, the situation will be different. And uh, the country will become a quarters to tighten control the flow of the capital. And this is different from the trade. And uh, the control the flow of the capital it's not because these countries uh, want to uh, improve their economy, but for prevent the coming financial crisis. The third thing is uh, about the flow of the human resources and uh, this uh, anti-immigration trend. The government will tighten the border control, and it's not only happened in Europe, actually. I understand. No government like a globalization. Because the globalization undermines every country's sovereignty. That means uh, undermines the government power. The last uh, the, uh, the, the situation is about this uh, uh, technology. This will be very serious. And uh, the world has moved into the age of the knowledge and economy. It means uh, the knowledge is the major resources for generating wealth. The major resources generating produce the country's uh, power. And it's a major resources uh, to cultivate.
the country's uh, national capability. And uh, that means, and the smart people who can manage the digital technology, they can accumulate wealth very, very fast. So here, in next five years, I will say, the technology will be play a very important role, possibly to divide the world. The world will be divided according to the technology. And in, uh, I, I remember four years ago, they said the society will divide it, the classes will divide it, no longer by proletariat and uh, bourgeoisie, but by the, by the people possessing knowledge and the people without knowledge. And now, possibly, the country will divide it, the digital economy country and non-digital economy country. At both international level and the domestic level, the polarization becomes worse and worse because some people possess knowledge of the digital economy, some people don't. And this gap will be enlarged by the knowledge. And so the education becomes a very, very important. And why I'm not so sure any government is prepared for do that kind of education and make every citizen and possess knowledge of the digital.